be dismantled and, and downsized is, is, is what, you know, our view is, is kind of what needs to be done. Um, so we knew Ron Paul didn't have a chance this time around, but what he did do was wake up people all across the nation who are now running for positions. And we, we've got an organization on the internet that is a support structure and a support system for all of these local groups just like us. You mean people, everyday, ordinary Joes like you and I? Are taking control back of their government. Wow. And we, we formed an organization online. It's a non-for-profit organization, uh, campaignforliberty.org. Um, Ron Paul started it. Uh, he, he threw all the money that he had left over because he was so frugal and the campaign that he had into this organization. And we're starting out strong. We're getting people elected all the way across the country. That's awesome. Wait, so can we tell the people real quick, go run, get your pencil, <laughs> and write this down. What was it? Campaignforliberty.org. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Join, be a part. Maybe you have the qualifications that will lead you into a position where you can do something amazing for yourself, for the people of your community, uh, get involved. It's very important. We all need to be a part of that. Absolutely, and I, I love that. Um, first of all, you mentioned on the fact that there were everyday people, people you cross a path with, walking through Jefferson Point or at Glenbrook Mall, who actually took part in the, the convention, the state convention for the Republican Party, and they learned. They had a wonderful learning experience. That's the first step. Oh, absolutely, you got you to figure out what you're doing. We, we went down there blind, but we went there down there with some idea that we were going to be opposed. But there wasn't quite so much opposition as um, they wanted to include some of our new ideas. And it just, it's a process that takes a while. Wait a minute, whoa, 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 wait. What ideas did they want to include? Because I, I mean, I might have there are a lot of Republicans. <laughs> there are a lot of Republicans that are free market and that, that do believe in a lot of the same ideals that, uh, um, the neo-neo Republicans, the Ron Paul people have come in, starting to express that they are pro-Constitution. The whole party is based on the free market and uh, capitalism and the whole system. Um, now, a lot of people have grown up in that system. They've gotten big and fat. And okay, powerful. so that's what the party is supposed to represent. You're just saying now there's no, some people that have no, kind of gotten... No, it does. There's quite a few people on our level, and they're trying to come up. And that's what we're all trying to do, right. is trying okay. to come up together right. as a people. Right. Right. Um, there's, some, there's some old guard that has risen to a, to a place where they're, they're living off of the cap. And they're protective right. of and, their position. And it's kind of a golden cap right, right now. It's, it's, right. It's, it's, it's a protection system. I mean, right. that, that's what uh, has been built up. Right. Um, what we're looking for is more competition, mm -hmm. freer market. Right. Now, what's been built up is is a free market, supposedly, but big business is so so protected by big government uh, that that the little that the little companies don't have a chance. Uh, I talked to Senator Evan Bayh. He right. came for a job fair. Uh, was it two years ago? Mm -hmm. And he talked about how eight out of ten jobs here in Indiana come from small business organizations. Um, he also talked about how he he himself raised it from three percent of three uh, percent of the monies that come in to attract businesses into Indiana. Three percent of that money was going towards small business, even though they created eighty percent of the jobs. Three percent of the money was going towards smaller businesses. Well, he raised that number up uh, to, I think, 10%. Okay. And he was proud of that. But I, in my heart, I'm just like, if 80% is the amount of new jobs that small business produce, mm -hmm. produces, how is the system geared towards large business? Absolutely. Um, Good question. Th there's a, we, we have to flip that entirely around. I mean, we are looking for major changes. but. If we express ourselves in the right way, the entire Republican Party believes in the same ideals. They're not a few people that own large corporations and want those large corporations protected. The Republican Party is an army of small business people Absolutely. who all think the same way we do. Absolutely. It's just going to take us a little while so that they can understand our message a little better. Absolutely. They just need to hear it. Christine, did you know? <laughs> Did you know, though, that because we actually got involved with our 
state convention. We became delegates. We, we were on the ballot. We did everything. We learned how to do it. Okay? It is not a system that is closed out to the public. Right. And the, the thing is, we just need to get more people involved. Absolutely. More and more, more build on it. Where we uh, were last week is not our stopping point. Right. We need to continue on. And in saying so, Mr. Steve Schein, the chairman of the Allen County um, Republican headquarters. Right, so this is what I wanted to ask you about. Okay, okay, okay. Has asked me and others who openly supported Ron Paul during his campaign to help the Republican headquarters um, downtown. Okay, can you real quick tell the people where this location is? Absolutely, the corner of Maine and Harrison. Um, the Republican headquarters has been there for. Um, well, I can't tell you because it's older than I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been there for yes, yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> it's been there for quite a while. Um, and it's, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> Nineteen cents sounds good to me. Um, so we got a wonderful old, old institution that is well, accepting new, new ideas. Yeah, yeah I'm just absolutely. curious. Being right downtown there, um, ideas, what about places ideas. to park? Yeah, is there easy parking available there? There's a parking lot. Um, Hmm. I don't remember the name of the bank. It's on the corner of Maine and Calhoun. Okay. Parking lot. There's parking lots okay. all over Fort Wayne. Well, downtown. Because as you know, I mean, that's one of the things that people hesitate about. Do I have to go downtown now? I just don't know where to you park. Know, I, I would encourage them to visit their Allen County Public Library and yeah. stop by and see me at the GOP office that would be good. and then come back yeah. to the library so and get their car. If they go down to the GOP, yeah. um, you would be there, somebody would be there to maybe help answer some questions, give them some guidance as far as how they can participate, Absolutely. what they can do. Absolutely. And my goal yeah. my goal is, is being met actually by Mr. Shine's generosity in in having different um, it, we'll call it diversity.